thank you Shailesh for speaking to us. So we have uh, Mr. Shailesh from uh, Zoho Corporation. He's the head of engineering and we're going to talk about their participation at Jitex and the solutions they're focusing on. So thank you uh, Shailesh for speaking to us. Yeah, thank you Chris for having us here. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity to talk to you too. Uh, yeah, so here I represent Manage Engine, which is the enterprise IT management division of Zoho Corp. Uh, so we have been in business for close to 20 years with uh, more than uh, 280,000 customers around the world. And uh, we are uh, in Jitex for the 16th year in consecution, okay. uh, except for the time when it didn't happen. Uh, but now it's great to see the crowd, great to see the energy and the vigor. And uh, so this time we thought we'll also have a bigger booth and uh, be a silver sponsor. Uh, because Jitex has always been a very important show for us and we do have a, a lot of partners here and we also use this opportunity to work and work closely with the partner as well as hear out from the customers directly as well as interact with the uh, prospects. Okay, so what is the theme of your participation this year and what kind of solutions are you focusing on? Yeah, so uh, Manage Engine is the enterprise IT management division of Zoho Corporation and uh, from Manage Engine we have a variety of point products and solutions addressing the various needs of enterprise IT management, starting with uh, IT service management, and then we have active directory management, endpoint management, ransomware management, malware, IT security, uh, log management, and, uh, and as usual, uh, network server application monitoring. So if you look at it, we have end-to-end -end management of all the needs that the enterprise IT management would have. And uh, this year in Jitex, the focus has been to get the vigor back and Middle East has been a very important area for us for the last 3-4 years, especially the growth in Middle East region, uh, be it the UAE countries, uh, be it uh, uh, KSA, that's uh, Saudi, as well as the other regions in the country, other regions in the other countries in this region, uh, the growth has been double compared to the other parts of the world. Okay. And this has come mainly because of two reasons we believe. One is the businesses here are undergoing a digital transformation and they want to be at the cutting edge of it. And then there's also a lot of push from the governments of okay. the respective countries so that the business is modernized as well as you have e-governance and there is this question of new cities coming up, new financial centers coming up. So all this needs uh, IT, okay. I mean IT infrastructure, um, servers, uh, mobile devices, laptops and all that. And uh, we are at a situation where we could provide tools to both the governments as well as SMBs and the enterprises to manage all this. Okay. During Jitex, one of the major uh, announcements that you made was the cloud spend solution right. for Microsoft Azure. Can you uh, t uh, briefly take us through that and uh, can you let us know what is the uh, target audience for that? Yeah. Uh, so one of the uh, important announcements we are making is the availability of cloud spend, uh, a cost control um, a product which works on multiple clouds, be it AWS or Azure. Actually, one thing is we had released it on as, uh, AWS uh, a couple of years back, and then when we reached out to our customers, we found that more than 65% of them are using more than one cloud. That is, they would use an AWS and Azure, or they, they would use AWS, Azure, and GCP, or two of them. So towards this, we thought we should extend and provide a multi-cloud cost control solution so that the enterprise get a single dashboard across the multiple clouds. Interestingly, uh, uh, the last three, four years, hyper clouds like AWS, uh, GCP or Azure are being adopted both by the SMBs and the enterprises. Especially post COVID, there has been a lot of push towards it. But when an enterprise adopts a hyper cloud uh, solution, one of the important things is compliance and cost control. At the end of the day, giving the control to start up a machine, shut down a machine, book a new machine, is like ha giving it to, especially to the developers, is like a kid in the toy shop kind of a thing. Yeah. So as the enterprise IT department, they need to ensure that there are compliance checks and cost control checks in place so that they are not surprised. So towards this, a combination of IT service management workflows and uh, point product tools like cloud spend that we have released can go hand in hand to ensure that the enterprise IT department as well as the business owners of SMB have a good control over the spend that they're doing on these hyper clouds.
Okay. Um, you mentioned uh, the double growth that you're experiencing in this yes, market. Yes, yeah. What kind of key plans do you have for this market? Have, have you identified any new markets? You said UAE, KSA are one of the major markets for you as well. But have you also identified markets in other parts of the region? And uh, what are your initiatives for this market? Yeah. So one of the things is we basically go by the demand from the market. So one obviously uh, UAE has been one. Uh, um, Saudi Arabia has been one, KSC has been one, now, the Egyptian region has been yeah. growing a lot. So one of the things we do is whenever we see a demand from the market, we uh, we go there and we then look out for resellers and partners who have a, t who have a cultural match with what okay. we do. So we have been in business for close to uh, 26 years and Manage Engine has been in business for close to 20 years. Okay. So we believe in staying in this for the long haul. Okay. And uh, we also ensure that we keep investing in technology so that the customer gets the benefit of the trust they have been placing with us. Okay. So we also look for resellers and partners who share the similar values. And towards that, we are fortunate to say that we have very good resellers, partners and value added resellers and SIs both in the UAE region, uh, KSA region as well as in the Egypt, Egypt, uh, uh, Egypt, Egypt country. Right. Uh, yeah. So and one of the most important thing is we it's not only about having the partners as technology providers. We need to equip them so that they are able to meet the needs of the uh, customers whom they are serving. So towards this, we have been uh, doing a lot of training programs. We have been coming up with certifications and then we are also putting a lot more feet on the street. We are okay. expanding our presence in this region, okay. uh, both uh, UAE and KSA so that uh, we have feet on the street who can work closely with the partners and help to meet the needs of the uh, customers. Okay. In terms of channel initiatives, you mentioned uh, certification programs and uh, key initiatives for them as well. Uh, can you tell us, like, uh, uh, since pandemic, how has your channel partner program changed or the initiatives that you offer or the incentives that you, that you offer to your partners? Yeah. How has it changed uh, over the past couple of years? Yeah. So one of the very interesting things is, as soon as the pandemic came in, um, People did have some time. Okay. okay. So I mean that I would say that's uh, even though it is a very sad state of affairs, but one of the I would say a silver lining uh, in the dark cloud. So a lot of our partners use that time and opportunity to learn a lot more about the various solutions that we offer and do a lot of certifications that have been long pending. Because every day when the business is running, the partner is very close to the customer. So there are a lot of escalations, there are a lot of issues, there are a lot of uh, new feature request and new solution requests that are coming from the customer which the partner has to address. So there is there is never time. Yeah. But right and soon during the pandemic there has been some areas where the partners were able to spend some time and a lot of them utilize this opportunity. Both the partners as well as our employees utilize this opportunity to ensure that they are well trained and they have covered a lot more other solutions that we have been offering. And even in the solutions that they have already been expert on, they have gone and taken the advanced certification. So the initial six months during the pandemic, a lot of partners and our employees worked together to ensure that the knowledge is transferred. I would say again, it's, it was more like a silver lining in the dark cloud. But once the business has opened up, this got translated to a double digit growth because okay. there was a lot of, lot of businesses were going remote, were going hybrid. And fortunately, we had the right kind of solutions because as a company, we believe in two, two, three things. We believe our solutions should be affordably elegant, right? It should be affordable and it should be elegant. And uh, we are like a one-stop shop. That is whatever the IT management needs would be there. We are like a, a one-stop shop where so starting from IT service management, we have solutions all the way up to IT security. So these two help for, for the SMBs as well as the enterprise to reach out to us as through our partners and adopt our solutions. And fortunately, at that point of time, even the partners were very well trained, yeah. so they could convert a lot more opportunities. And this energy gets translated both on the field as well as in terms of garnering more knowledge. Uh, thank you, Mr. Shailesh, for speaking to us. Nice having you with us today. Yeah, sure. And uh, we look forward to speaking to you in the future as well. Yeah, thanks thank a lot. You. And and we also hope to have a great Jaitis. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.